Welcome back to the Texas music scene, folks. Well, it's time for a road story. And Ray Wiley Hubbard recently got to rub elbows and make big pals with a beetle. I mean, Ringo Beetle. No big deal. One, two. Tell like tongue out, but it's roots. I feed it to the moss around the chicken coop. So I get this phone call, I guess, about a couple of years ago. And this guy calls me up and he says, uh, he says, go to Ringo Starr's website. I go, what for? And he goes, Ringo's talking about you. So I go to Ringo Starr's website and also there's a little thing of where Ringo's doing what he listens to each month. So he's talking about, oh, I got this, uh, some Beatle things from George Martin I'm listening to and I'm listening to Bob Dylan and he goes, and I'm listening to this Ray Wiley Hubbard's guy from Texas doing Snake Farm. And it just, Whoa, how weird was that? And I found out what happened was, the guy named Brent Carpenter, who does all the videos for uh, Ringo, had come to McCabe's, that's playing out in uh, Santa Monica, and he bought Snake Farm, because the Snake Farm came out. So he burned a copy for Ringo. Didn't even buy him a copy, burned him a copy, and uh, gave it to Ringo and said, there's this weird guy in Texas I think you'll like. You know, Ringo played it, did the little video. So the next time I'm out there, we're playing McCabe's, all of a sudden I get this phone call, and it's from Brent Carpenter. He said, Ringo's playing the Greek theater. You know, come out, wants to meet you. So I go out there with Rick Richards. So we meet Ringo, and so we're backstage. He's just, he's really impressed that I travel with just a drummer. He thought that was brilliant. So he said, uh, when I do, with a little help from my friends, come out and sing with me, which was great that he asked me, but he obviously didn't tell security. But it was, it was really cool. Ringo's a really big fan of Light and Hopkins. We were talking about Light and Hopkins. He tells this story when he was 16 or 17 that the, the sailors, you know, American sailors would come to Liverpool and uh, they'd bring albums and someone had brought him a Light and Hopkins album. So he said he loved Light and Hopkins, knew he was from Houston. So he and a buddy were gonna go down and get their visa and come to Houston and work in the oil fields, I mean, the refineries down there, so that they could uh, meet Light and Hopkins. And he said, so I went down there and tried to fill out all the forms for a visa, but for a 17-year-old English boy to try to figure out all those forms, we couldn't do it. So I said, I blew that off and got some drums. It's not answering. Hello? Uh, Ringo, it's Ray. Who? Uh, Ray Wiley Hubbard. Uh, the. Texas Snake Farm guy, just Snake Farm, just sounds nasty. Ooh, that guy. Oh, Ray, how you, Ray? How you doing? I'm doing great, doing great. Hey, listen, I uh, uh, hate to bother you. I know you're real busy and everything, but I want to call and tell you that I, I recorded one of your songs on my new record, uh, The Grifter's Hymnal. Great. Which track have you recorded? Photograph? Uh, no, uh, I recorded the old uh, blues uh, song Coochie Coochie off the off your record, uh, Bukus of Blues. Coochie Coochie, my God, that's great news talking one time about songwriting and uh, I mentioned that one of my favorite tracks was uh, this bonus track on uh, Bukus of Blues and I uh, called Coochie Coochie. He goes, oh yeah. And I, said, he said, and I said, yeah, man, I love that song. It's just one chord. So he said, uh, oh yeah. And I said, well, man, I may, may cut it. And he said, well, I'd like to hear that. You know, we're at the, the church recording this thing and I had a resonator and Audley Freed had a mandolin and Rick Richards had a bird feeder with seed in it and a kick drum and I George who plays bass and actually had a 12 string guitar so I said Steve push the button so he just pushed the red button and we uh, did it just straight through you know and then we sent it to him and all of a sudden I get this phone call from Ringo he said I love it he said uh, the drums are so good on it I don't need to play drums I'll just play shakers and sing on it so uh, you know pretty cool I got a beetle on my record you know that's that's uh that's a uh, kind of a very prestigious thing from a kid from Oak Cliff. I gotta have 